Yeah, indeed. Well, I told you, I ordered a pizza with chicken on it, not a chicken on it. Okay, you gotta make it again, 30 minutes or less. Hey, we're here with another installment of Weekly Entertainment. I'm Crazy Mark right here, and thank you for tuning in once again. And today we got lots of cool stuff to talk about, some cool videos too. But in the meantime, today's guest, I'm thrilled, chilled and amazed because today's guest happens to be none other than a universal conqueror, a terror of the galaxies. I'm shivering in my shoes right now because today we have us, this guest, this amazing guest, he's known as Zender the Conqueror. Well, hi, uh, thanks for having me on your show. Well, I'll tell you what, Xander, I am amazed and definitely thrilled, and I'm going to be walking on eggshells today, because I know it. Well, yeah, you better. Any minute, you could vaporize me. Well, yes, that's true. I do um, like to vaporize and uh, kill humans. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's having an alien on the show is just one of those kind of things that thrills me to no end, because, you know, how many times do you have an alien on the show who really doesn't need a green card, you know? I mean, it's like, but anywho... So, what planet are you from, Xander? Well, I'm from the um, the uh, the Horsehead Nebula. Horsehead Nebula. I'll yes. tell you what, that's something for all you astronomers out there. Look it up. The Horsehead is out. Yeah, that's a mouthful. The Horsehead Nebula. Yep. Mm -hmm. my, so, uh... what brings you to Earth? Well, I came here to uh, to check out everything that's going on in Michigan right now. Um, I understand you humans have an event called the um, the Renaissance Festival. Renaissance Festival, yes, indeed, everybody. Renaissance Festival is happening up in Holly right now. Where else can you get together with the big chicken leg, big turkey leg, and a whole big uh, whatever it is, Coke to drink or whatever drink you want to drink, and uh, get together with all your friends and run up there and uh, spend a big full day of dressing up and speaking and. Uh, English accent just like this. Yeah, really bad English uh, accent. Speaking a bad English accent and walk around and think that you're King Henry the Eighth or I'm a am. And, you know, lots of girls and uh, bustiers and uh, all sorts of people doing tricks and juggling fire and the dead Bob show. And I'll tell you what, there, Xander. Yeah. You have not lived until you've been malleted by dead Bob. Yeah, I, I like, uh, yeah, I have an affinity for puppet shows. Oh, yes, and tell you what, there's nothing quite like a dead bulb show, so get yourself up there right now today and uh, check it out. Um, yeah, I'll, when's that running till? Uh, yeah, it's in September sometime here, so just check it out. Go to renfest.com and you'll find out. And hey, let me get rid of this accent here. Yes, get out of my do. mouth. Please get, do, mate. Get Pick out of my cheerio. mouth. Yes. Now, also happening, lots of other cool events around the state. Yeah, tell we've, us about it. We've got Arts, Eats, and Beats going on. Oh. I'm sure some of you seeing this show right now have been to Arts, Eats, and Beats. Tell us all about it. Go like us over at Weekly Entertainment on Facebook. And you can find it there. Look it up, Weekly Entertainment. And you'll find it on Facebook. Like it, love it, and thanks for tuning in once again. Now, Xander. Yeah. Xander, Xander. Now, what's going on? I noticed now you're here also. You you work with Suburban High Life and Cat's Pajamas. And what, what's going on with that? Well, yeah, I, I do. Uh, you know, I help them out with promo work and stuff. Um, well, yeah, you want to check out the website, which is catspajamasmedia.com. And uh, you can see all the upcoming events and stuff. Because, you know, we also do uh, events across Michigan. You know, comic book conventions. There's going to be a, a music rock convention coming up. And you want to check those out. It'll be a good time. All right, that's cool, most excellent. Yeah. Now, I'll tell you what, you I, I saw on the website, it all got messed up. You, have you been working on the website, Xander? I mean, did you do anything that really, like, I mean, you, you, you're supposed to be putting on, like, was it UFOs and stuff? You put on a bunch of construction workers, went on here. Well, but, yeah, you know, I'm not really computer uh, literate here. Um, you know, I can fix a warp drive, but uh, human computers um, kind of stymie me. Well, you know, I, as I understand, in your your planet, you just talk to the computer and say, computer, well, yeah. make web changes. Well, you know, that's actually obsolete now on my planet. Um, uh -huh. Now it just works from your brain waves, and you just think about what you want it to do, and um, yeah, it, it does it. So, yeah, we don't even need that anymore. Oh, okay, okay. I that's can't wait stuff. for that technology to happen here. I can see it now. 
I want uh, let's well, see, you know, a burger I'll... and fries and just have it appear in my hands, you know, burger and fries. Well, I, I, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, teleportation is uh, is out of our realms right oh, now. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it'll happen on the Crazy Mark, uh, Crazy Mark and Weekly Entertainment show one of these days, you know, that kind of thing. By the way, you are tuned into Weekly Entertainment. You're finding out all about sorts of cool things going on in the world around you. And all sorts of up to bat things. By the way, we've got something in the mailbox right now. Let's Uh-oh. check it out. Is it viewer mail? It's viewer mail time. Okay, let's see what we got. This came in to us from France. From France. Wow. Yes, yeah, viewers in France. Yes, yes, it's in France. Yeah, uh huh. And they write to us and they say, and this is a question for Ted Riot, who couldn't make it to the show today. Wee Ted, wee wee. Yeah, he could not make it to the show. He is not near, but he is... He is far. Far away, yeah. He got called aside for some special work. So, Ted, what do you do when you customize a motorcycle? Actually, I abducted him. You abducted him? Shame on you! That's right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I hate to abduct your guests before they come on, but, you know, it's just in my alien nature. Now, I see you with your probe here, you know. Uh, You're yeah, that's uh, kind of, uh... <laughs> You're yeah. going to be probing yeah. around. Oh, but anyway, what do you do when you customize motorcycle? Well, let's see. If he were here, he would say, handle it with a sense of humor. So, there it is. We feel can, for you there, Ted. And a big shout-out Can he customize you. spaceships? Can he customize spaceships? Yeah, well, we'll just have to ask my, him all about that, you know? Okay, but yeah. I'd he's like not here. Get... He's not near, but he is... He is far. Yes. So I'd like a cool racing stripe on my UFO. Oh, really? Speaking of that there, you know, um, there's this thing I've been wondering about, okay? Why, why did the space program end all of a sudden? We know that Neil Armstrong was the first guy on the moon and, you know, big yeah. salute out to the pioneer. What went on? Well, um, the reason you guys uh, stopped coming to uh, the moon is because we already had a base on the moon. A base? Yeah. Was it like first or second base? Well, you know, I like to go all the way. All the way. So yeah. it was home. Yeah, home place. Home base. Home base. That's, but I thought it was in the horse head nebula. That's what we call it. No, well, actually the home base on uh, the, the moon is our staging area. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's so... where we send all the UFOs to Earth from. I see. So whenever we see a UFO in the sky, boom, it's from the moon. Yeah, correct. We also have bases underwater, too. You know, you people call it Atlantis. Atlantis? Yeah, we call it um, Control Base 12. Control Base 12. That's correct. Okay, now I can just see a Japanese monster movie being made about that right now. Control Base 12. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I own the rights to it. Oh, uh, okay. Very good. But yeah, no, um, the last uh, Apollo mission, um, you got, there was actually more missions that you didn't hear about. Okay, That your so... government is keeping secret, and um, there was exchanges of technology. I see. And, yeah, I mean, and, what did they do to, like, uh, what did they do to butter you up to get that technology? Well, they uh, gave us free reign on you civilians that we can abduct and do our experiments on, and they wouldn't interfere. Okay, so we're learning yeah. all about it right here, folks. You know, it Throw was a case... all the conspiracy theory yeah. out the window. It was a case of, you you're... probe your back, I'll probe yours. Yeah, I'll, I'll probe your, give you back, and I'll get your back, and I'll probe your, what? Yeah, you rub my back, I'll rub yours. But you'll probe my back, I'll probe yours. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's okay, our, so our model. there it is. Yeah. It's official. Throw all that controversy out the window all all the stuff we know what the real agenda is and what's going on and you're hearing it from the main alien right here today we're going to wrap this up right here stay right there we've got a video coming to you right now so stay tuned to weekly entertainment if you have microsoft okay, Flight Simulator 10 deluxe or gold edition and you're into doing atc a lot Check out my program, use ATC program. I've been running it during the summer for the last five years, and now I'm expanding it to winter as well. Instead of doing a whole summer thing, and a whole winter thing, like I have been doing for the summer, starting in J- June and going to late August, uh, which is probably about over 10 weeks. I'm only going to do a 10 week program for summer and 10 weeks for winter starting on the near the winter and summer solstice this one those are going to start and they'll go for 10 weeks after that for a whole five days 
for 10 weeks. So it'll be Monday through Friday for 10 weeks. Um, if you're interested in registering for the 10 week program, go to iatcs.webs.com. That again is iatcs.webs.com and click on the registration page. The registration page is up 24 7 and will be even during the summer and winter programs. You will be receiving emails on which uh, programs are currently registered for. And um, there are trials, even though we haven't had a problem with the uh, overflow of people. Uh, we may, and that's why the trials happen. As long as there isn't too many people, we can just fill the positions in the tower and on the airport grounds. We also started using EMS units and security at the airport as well, as well as the normal ground tower departure and approach. Uh, so that's about 11 positions to fill. Although I'm thinking about backing it down to five, just having two of each security and EMS, and then the three tower positions. And uh, so if you're interested, uh, go to iatcs.webs.com, click on the registration page, and you'll be hearing from me very shortly. No, 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 numbins are good. Numbins are very good. Numbins are good if you got big pizza. Hey, wait, where'd, where'd Xander go? Xander. I'm right here. I was hey. uh, torturing one of my slaves. Oh, Xander, want some pizza? Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah, oh, nom, yeah. Nom, 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 he nom, might nom, like nom, humans, nom, but he nom, loves nom, pizza, nom. too. <laughs> yeah, you know, I like uh, human uh, 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 pizza with humans on it. I think uh, Pizza Hut should start offering that. They do on my planet. You know, we have Pizza Hut on my planet. Pizza Hut on your planet? Yeah, that's it, it, right. Now, there's, that blows the other conspiracy theory way out of the water. See, you we, know, people associate fast food, corporations, and um, aliens. And now we know. Pizza Hut's on another planet. Go figure. I didn't know about this. But uh, hey, we're right back here, and you're on time for to, to, to hear us uh, get the skinny and the and the craziness on uh, movie reviews. Ooh, movie reviews. Yes, and 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 uh, Xander, I heard that uh, actually it was you who went to go check out. This movie it was called uh, Prometheus. Prometheus, yes. It's the long-awaited uh, prequel, we'll call it, to the Alien franchise. It was directed by Ridley Scott, who directed the very first Alien movie, which amazing. is everyone's favorite. Yeah. Amazing. Um, yeah, no, actually, this was a really amazing movie. Um, Did they have special effects? Yeah, lots of them. Oh. Yeah, eye-popping special effects. Eye-popping. Oh, yeah, you know, and it, it, there's some scenes in there that'll make you just, uh, you know, squirm in your seat, if not squirm. vomit. I swear, don't don't go to this movie on a full stomach. On a full stomach? Why? Did you hurl? Uh, almost. Yeah, oh. there's scenes I had to look at the floor. I'm not going to give away any spoilers here, but, uh, yeah. Now, as I understand, it's still out there at the dollar shows. You well, know, maybe... actually, it's not. It's coming out on video oh. um, in uh, October, it I believe. Is. Late October. Holy cow! Wow, I'll tell you what, you never know what you're gonna get with the video releases here and there. That's right. Ooh, I'm gonna have to pick it up and see what it was, cause I missed it! Oh yeah, that gives me, yeah, I give it uh, uh, five stars for that one, definitely. Five stars? You've got it up on me right there, Xander. What can I do? You beat me to the punch. Oh, well. So what movies have you seen lately, Mark? Oh, let's see. It could have been like, oh, let's see. Was it an old Tarzan movie? Yeah, but I reckon, was it a, that uh, old Flintstone movie? Yeah, but that was John Goodman? Oh, well, this, it goes way back. It was the old color Hanna-Barbera thing. I was oh. watching that, and I go, hey, wait, that reminds me of my childhood years. Or it was my dad, you know, my dad used to show home movies that look like that. Oh. Yeah, and now I'm reminiscing, and that's pretty bad. How about you folks out there? Tell us all about your childhood experiences. Go to Weekly Entertainment on Facebook, like it, and love it, and tell us all about yourself. You, oh, you want to be on the show. Hey, I'm, so, I'm doing the oh, interview here. You're doing an interview with no, me? No, I'm, I'm talking to this guy. Get, get, yeah, uh, uh, get, don't, don't, uh, get, that's what happens so when you're times. late. Stay out of the frame.
That's what happens when you oh, show. Oh, sorry. Oh, what? Oh, okay, Xander. I'm back. Okay. Now, while I got this list here and I'm looking over it, I noticed that it's that time of the year when all these kids are going off to college. Oh, yeah, back to school time. It's back to school time. Yes, indeed. They're going off to college and they have to live on a budget. Ah, yes. And too many of them, they get, you know, parents give them money and they go off and they blow it on movies and, oh, and yeah. bowling and partying with friends and spending it in all the wrong places. Yeah, I was wasting my money on face pulse generators. Okay. My mom would get very upset. Okay, what would you do with all of those? Well, it uh, it uh, disrupts the uh, the quantum field and... Uh, yeah, that's it, it, it's, it, it's, it makes a big mess. You're talking big science there, Xander. But anyways, back to the back-to-school stuff. Yeah, back-to-school. Speaking of science and physics, back-to-school. I'll tell you what there, Xander. When yeah. these kids go off to college, they're wiping out all their money and everything, blowing it on popcorn and pizza and booze and all this other stuff and parties. you got to watch your budget because mom and dad only have so much to give you. Well, yeah. Yeah, so don't go calling up Crazy Mark. Crazy Mark, we know you're a big star. Send us lots of money, you know. I can't do that. What about you, Xander? Are you made of well, money? Well, no, not really. Um, I usually, you know, when, I, when I'm out slaying humans, I... Uh, you know, I, I, I'll pick their pocket and yeah. uh, get, you know, and take their wallets. But oh, uh, that's going. that's pretty much my only source of income right now. Uh, pillage, you know, kind of uh, find the, I tell the, you? the town gold and stuff like that. What is that up there you got? Get a pet uh, that's, or something? No, that's my, that's my uh, pet servant. He's kind of a, you know, I have him, I lobotomized him, and now he's my slave. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's a good thing or a bad thing. It depends upon who's, who's uh, taking orders from who. Yeah. But yeah, now, so remember, kids, watch your money and budget correctly. Set something up. Set up a plan so you don't have to call your uncle and your aunt and everybody like that. Just because you had a nice free ride through high school doesn't mean that college is, it's, a, it's like a license to party. No, yeah, it isn't. It is. You got to learn. Buckle down, okay? My college days were all a blur. Oh, what, 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 what were you drinking? Well, um, you know, for Martian ale or what yeah, was it? Uh, actually, it was Romulan ale. Romulan ale. Yeah. Oh. Speaking of which, uh oh. Oh, Romulan ale. Speaking of which, coming up this first week of November, oh, downriver yeah. at Gibraltar Trade Center. Who's going to be there, Xander? Well, we have uh, Dave Coulier, who's a really funny human. Okay. And the guest of honor, though, is going to be none, none other, other than, than William Shatner. William That's right. Shatner. Captain James Tiberius Ooh, Kirk. Ooh, wow. That could be quite amazing. I'm telling yes. you what. Um, I'm going to have to pull out my Starship Enterprise and go out and do whatever I can to get tons of autographs. That would be logical. Okay. Perfect. So you've uh, got catspajamasmedia.com for that website, and there's uh, there dates go. and times and all the information you need. So go check it out. Perfect. Perfect. That's most excellent. Oh, my gosh. We're, we're winding down the time here, and I'll tell you what, where does the 30 minutes go on weekly entertainment? You get cool videos, you get crazy peeps like me and Xander, you know, and you could be on weekly entertainment too. You got to go to Facebook, look it up, weekly entertainment, and be on the show. Let us know, and we'll make you a star. Just like me. Yeah, just like you. Well, you're from a star, of course. Yes, yes. So what do you take on your pizza, Xander? Well, um, I just like your basic uh, pepperoni and mushrooms and maybe some uh, bacon and, uh, you know, a little Italian sausage. So I like a little bit of everything. Great. That's excellent. We're going to have to order that out Sounds right good. here. Ooh. Oh, yeah. We're going to let you order this time. But in the meantime, before I make this call, I've got to tell you all to sit yourself right there and watch the next video while I make this call. Oh, eh? yeah. Let's You're watch. on Weekly Entertainment. All right, folks, let's see. We have Microsoft Lights on Layer 10, and you are on there all the time, or if you're not, and if you don't have the game and you want it, you can go and grab it. Uh, I think they don't do the Deluxe Edition anymore, but they do go, do have Gold, which is both Deluxe and Standard. This uh, thing that I started last summer doesn't matter what kind of... Uh, what edition you have, it will work for both. Um, it's racing on Flight Simulator 10. It's long distance. 
The longest I did was uh, a 10 hour flight that took me three days because I wasn't doing 10 straight hours, which I normally can do. Uh, from Fort Ma from uh, Oakland Shore Airport in Troy, Michigan down to Fort Myers, Florida. Took me three days because when I started later at 7 o'clock in the morning, which means I would have gotten there at 11, 12 o'clock at night if I had just kept going, but I stopped and uh, took a few breaks and had to take dinner breaks and all that kind of stuff, so it was three days, um, two days, almost three, I believe, but uh, normally we'd start early in the morning, 6, 30, 7 o'clock in the morning, and uh, we wouldn't stop flying unless we had to take a break, fuel up or anything, and then we wouldn't stop until we got down to the destination, which would be the end of the race, there are no prices, it's just for fun, um, I'm on the website right now just to show you, uh, well you, you're not going to go close up, but this is a pretty good view of it, it's a uh, MFSX Racing at webs dot com. That is a uh, MFSX Racing dot webs dot com. Go to the registration page, which is what I'm on, and uh, give your e games by ID, email, type of aircraft that you're flying, in the call sign on the tail plane or and or the tail number and there's a spot for question and remarks after you do that I'll get an email when I get the email I will put you under the Microsoft Flight Simulator Racing uh, Flight Planner which is the next tab over and I have not done anything with the site since before November last year so I gotta do some updating as well but this is a fun thing to do and uh, we hope to have more people all right we are back here with weekly entertainment I'm crazy mark and today we've had in the studio dispelling all sorts of controversy myths Xander the Conqueror. Yeah, that's me. Hi, folks. What about these rock stars? Why do they make it so big so fast? Well, because they, they make a deal with us, the the aliens. So never was the devil. It was like the Xander. Well, yeah, because, you know, um, they, they you, you get somebody really big, like, say, a you know, a uh, Justin Bieber. Okay. And he's spreading his message to millions and millions of young, impressionable minds. And therefore, we can put in our own uh, mind control, uh, subliminal mind control, in his music. And uh, and pretty soon, before you know it, um, we're invading the planet, and you guys are all a bunch of docile sheep who will just lay down for us. So basically, you'll hear his song, and then there's somewhere in between, it'll be like, it's like all happy, joy, yeah. joy, and then worked in between the yeah, it's digital into code. Your alien overlords. Yeah, it's obey. it's like it's like obey. You know, obey. so if you play it backwards, you hear obey. Yeah, yeah. You know that kind of thing. Yeah. Give up your money. Yeah, you it's know. not just baby. Buy baby, product. Baby. Woo. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's obey. <laughs> obey. So it isn't babe, babe, babe. It's obey, 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 obey. 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 There's another thing. That's there right. you go. That really cracked the code for us right there. Watch what, what your can children I say? listen to. It now, is. other conspiracy theories I've been hearing about is this presidential campaign coming up that that uh, basically like like Obama or Mitt Romney, they are your actual cousins. Or They're both relatives? aliens. You know, you know, people listen to me. Your what? vote means nothing. You're voting for the same person. They're both alien clones. So in other words, we're watching a hologram on stage. That's right. It's holography. This whole presidential election is run by holography. I can't believe it. Oh, okay, so there you have the next scoop. Presidential election. It's all a bunch of holograms. That's right. Vote for the pink party. There you go. The pink party right there. Yeah. Oh, amazing. So, okay, so let's see. What other conspiracies do we have going on here? Um, now, someone was telling me that, and if we go back in history, that... We already had flying saucers, but, but, but wait, wait, speaking of which, hold on, I just got a message. 
Uh, Psychic Impression says we gotta wrap this up. We got another oh, okay. video happening. Oh, all right, okay, let's stay watch. Re- stay right there. Watch this video now. Hi, my name is Ian Smith. I'm the producer, director, and video editor of Weekly Entertainment. And coming up in October, we got a four-week series coming on Weekly Entertainment. Uh, we're going to go and look at the autistic spectrum and go over what that is and get in the deep details on that. We realize that the National Autistic Day is not in October, but we're going to do a four-week special and uh, <coughs> get into uh, possibly uh, interviewing people in the area and what their intake is on that and if they know anyone on that field. I'm in that field and you also hear from me in special driving tips, golfing tips, and cooking shows. And you'll also hear a pretty decent uh, length video of me in the first week or so of what I have and uh, what it affects. So join us in October for this four week series on autism. That looks like it's about it for another weekly episode of Weekly Entertainment. I'm Crazy Mark right here thanking you all for joining us. You can also watch it at cmntv.org. In the meanwhile, you all take care. Have a great week. I'm going to go out and catch myself some waves. Over and out, folks. Thanks for having me.